All right, we are here with Al Nelson from Cross Country Mortgage, and we're going to talk a little deeper about VA loans. Um, Al, what's the what are some of the best biggest benefits of the VA loan program? All right, uh, good morning, Ben. Um, first, I want to just for any veterans listening to this, Ben and I would like to thank you for your service. Absolutely, um, we do appreciate you. Uh, some of the biggest benefits of a VA loan would be they're 100% finance. You don't need any money down. Um, most most mortgages, you need something down. But the VA uh, does a program with no money down. The seller can actually pay up to 4% in closing costs for you because there are, I know there is a myth out there that the VA loans don't have, a cl don't have closing costs. I hear that a lot, but they do. They actually do. You need an appraisal and there's title work and uh, different lenders. We have costs as a lender. We can't charge those, but there are, there are some closing costs. Um, so the seller can pay your closing costs for you. Um, and no, like I said, no money down. Um, it's a 100% it's finance. So those are some of the, the key benefits. You can actually get into a house you know, typically when somebody writes an offer, they have to give a thousand dollars earnest money when their offer is accepted. A lot of times the veterans get that back at closing. So they get into a house for no money out of their pocket. It's pretty amazing. It's awesome. Sure. Yeah, that's yeah. A, lot, a lot of great benefits. Is there a PMI with that, with that loan? Yeah, that's the other uh, benefit. Thank you for bringing that up, Ben. Um, yep. uh, there's, if you don't put a 20% down payment down, uh, your typical loans have PMI or private mortgage insurance. Um, it's a monthly payment you pay with your principal and interest taxes and insurance. Um, there's mortgage insurance. If you don't put a 20% down payment down, the VA loan does not have uh, mortgage insurance. They do, however, have a funding fee and that funds the VA and helps keep their program going. The first time use uh, the first time a veteran uses the VA program, they pay 2.3%. Now out of their pocket, it gets added to the loan. So for example, if, if a veteran was buying a $100,000 house, their loan would be $102,300. Um, it just gets added to the loan. And that, that funding fee funds the VA and keeps their program going um, without yeah, without charging higher rates, the rates are phenomenal with uh, VA loans. The sure. second time, second time, third time, fourth time use, um, multiple use, they the VA charges three point six percent. So if it was a hundred thousand dollar loan, hundred thousand dollar purchase, base loan of a hundred thousand dollars with no money down, uh, the second, third, fourth time, multiple use, you your loan would be a hundred three thousand six hundred dollars. It's three point six percent. So that's probably the only negative of the VA loan, but it's not that bad. You don't have to pay that out of your pocket. It gets added to the loan. Right. And then you know that monthly PMI and you get a better Correct. rate and all that stuff. So that, yes. that's, yeah. that makes yeah. it better overall. Yeah. Um, it's a great program. Yep. Can you go over like the eligibility or the, the yeah. process of it? So um, just because you were in the military doesn't mean you're eligible for a VA loan we get uh, a certificate. We, if you don't have it, we can help you get a certificate of eligibility uh, from the VA that would say whether you're eligible or not. Typically what I find is uh, somebody has to be in the military uh, for about four years to, uh, to be eligible for a VA loan, uh, give or take. Yep, but that's, that's what I find. So, but that's something we can help with. We help Great. get that, so, yep. What are the... The, your credit requirements, are, are they more strict or less strict when it comes They're to actually, the VA loan? I'd say less strict. I believe on VA, we can go down to a 600 credit score. Um, they don't hit you in the rate like a Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae with a lower credit score. You're going to pay a much higher rate. Uh, VA doesn't do that. You either qualify or you don't when we're doing that process. With good credit... We've put, I'm going to talk mortgage talk for a second. We push the debt to income uh, with really good credit, very high. 
uh, typical okay. on a on a on a conventional <clears throat> loan, Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, where you have to put a down payment, you can go to about forty five percent. Sometimes push that up to fifty percent at the income with good assets, good credit. VA with good credit will allow you. We, we're doing one right now up to 60% debt to income, which is kind of unheard of and crazy, but uh, the VA really does take care of their veterans with this loan program there. Yeah. That's kind of good to know. Yeah. Um, yep. Is there any uh, specific type of property that is better suited for a VA loan? You know, we can do most all properties. You cannot do an investment property. It has to be a primary residence. Okay. Um, although we have done a VA loan with two homes on the property. Not okay. easy to do. The appraiser has to find uh, comparable sales with two homes and that's not always an easy thing to do, but we did yeah. just close one of those in the last few months. Um, but, it, but you have to live in one of them if there are two homes. It has to be your primary residence. Um, you, we can do manufactured as long as this is double wide. I uh, cannot do single wides in any loan. We can't, but right. um, with the VA we can do manufactured homes. Um, yeah, so house has to be in pretty good working order um, as it does with most loans. Um, this is a government loan, so you get into the peeling paint and all yeah. that if the house was built before <clears throat> 1978, you could have lead-based paint and then it, therefore it can't be peeling. Right, yeah. that, yeah. So that's always a stickler. Speak yes, to it. <laughs> it is. Yeah. The roof has to be in good shape. You know, house has to be in pretty good working order, which you'd want anyway. So yeah, yeah. definitely. Yep. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add about the VA loan program? You know, um, I'm just looking at my notes here quickly. Um, the, when it comes to that, I don't know if I touched on this or not. When it comes to the VA funding fee, if the veteran has uh, any disability, VA disability income, hmm. um, they do not have to pay that funding fee. Oh. So therefore then there is not a funding fee if they get 10% disability or 100%, it doesn't matter, they don't pay that funding fee. In, in most states, if a veteran is 100% disabled and you don't have to have a VA loan to get this, um, I know in the state of Wisconsin, you, you pay your property taxes, but you get them back if you're a 100% disabled veteran. I think you have to file your state income taxes and you get them back that way. Minnesota, because I'm licensed in Minnesota, also you don't, uh, they just don't make you pay them if you're 100% disabled, which is really cool. That is really cool. That, yeah, yeah, that they do yeah. that for the veterans. That's awesome. That's great. That makes sense. So it has to be 100%, not 90, but 100%. 100%. Yep. Um, sure. Yeah, I think. Um, oh, another one. A lot of times when we're uh, doing a mortgage, you might have a boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other or whatever. You can't do that with a VA loan. You either have to be married or related, the co-borrower. I know I've done it for a father and son where a father uh, went on the loan with his son to bring in more income. I think he co-signed for him just to bring in more income, but they were related. So we were able to do that. Um, you can't do it a, a girlfriend, boyfriend. If the, if the gal was the veteran, she can't go on the loan with her boyfriend to bring in more income. Sure. Um, you have to have to be married with, okay. the, with a VA loan or related. So, yep. Yep. So gotcha. that is one, one of the key factors in a VA loan, which all our other loans we do, doesn't, you don't have to be related. I've done loans for brothers, sisters, stuff like that, but yeah. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah. Any other questions, Ben? It's uh, it sounds like a great program, and you know, to help our veterans. That I know uh, you and I both are very thankful for their service. They do yeah. things above and beyond you or I could even fathom. Yes. So I think it's a great yeah. service, and it's it's good that you offer the service to get those loans uh, closed. Yeah, it's it it is a great program. They also have when it comes to uh, if they if you own a home when it comes to refinancing they make it very easy easy it's called a rate reduction um, mm -hmm. it's only done for a, a no cash out I mean you can you can do a refinance and take cash out with a VA loan also but for the if you're just lowering your interest rate you don't need an appraisal we don't even look at income it's a it's a great 
great program when it comes to refinancing. Yeah, that sounds like it'd be a good option for people, ABA. especially with the rates being pretty yeah. good still. So cool. yeah, yep, yep. So that that is a nice benefit if you are in a VA loan. Um, it is also um, transferable if you sold your house to somebody and today's interest rates, let's say, are at 3%. And in five years, you want to sell your house and rates are at 6%. They've doubled. You can actually transfer your loan to the person buying your loan as long as they buying your house as long as they qualify and they could get your low interest rate. Oh, wow. That could affect you in getting another VA loan until this one's paid off. Sure. Um, you may or may not be able to, depending on how much you used on this one. But it is a great, that's great marketing um, in the future. If if rates go up and you want to sell your house, you could actually sell your house to, yeah, to a, another good. person with a low lower rate. Yeah. Interesting yeah. option to throw out there. Yeah. It, it's it's rare that it would happen, but it yeah. but it is. It it can happen. Great. Yeah, it's a great, great program. Okay, well, we will wrap it up here. Thank you, Al, uh, for coming yeah. on and talking about the VA loan program. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you, Ben. All right, take care. Yep. Thanks, everybody, for take watching. Care.